You need to be spiritually filled. You need to learn to have time with Him. You need to be able to pray. You need to be able to learn to use your spiritual gifts wisely. So in today's video, I'm going to be shedding more light on these things yeah so guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your favorite girl rachel Favy. yeah on this channel i talk about faith lifestyle and tutorials and how to make way so in today's video i'll be talking about ways to grow spiritually just three i'll be listening out three easy ways to grow spiritually yeah so number one goes doors you need to humble yourself and pray yeah, see, prayer is not more of like you just reciting the word and find you are your OT lawyer, done with that, all those things. No, prayer is the time that you have that conversation with God, that you're able to talk to Him, that you're able to shed more light on that problem, that thing you are facing, that thing you're not okay with, the thing you want God to do for you. You understand that is the time you need to humble yourself you don't need to be bossy you don't need to be like proud like pompous that oh why are you gonna be talking to him no you need to humble yourself and pray he's always there to listen he's always there to listen to us whenever we need him you understand so we need to humble ourselves and pray we need to pray that is the time that we always that we usually have time for him that is the time that, oh, the problem that you cannot tell your best friend or your friend or your family member, that is the time for you to be able to communicate with him. That is the time that you know that, oh, you can be able to, you'll be free with him. You understand? You'll be free with him. It's not that kind of person that, oh, you tell him something, you come and tell somebody. You, no, 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 no. It's that time you'll be able to be free with him, you'll be able to tell him anything you want to tell him. Yeah. And this brings me to the second one. Read and study your Bible. See, let me tell you something. There are a lot of life lessons to be learned in the Bible. In the Bible, you can be able to get Jesus' teachings in the book of Mark, Matthew, Luke, John. Yeah, that is it. See, let me tell you something. You can even be able to be attending all um, Bible studies. So you'll be able to delve in more into it to be able to get some truth. In the Bible study, you can be able to ask some questions that, oh, you're not okay with. Some things that, oh, you're, that, that they said something in the Bible about this particular thing, but, oh, please, throw more enlightening on it. You understand what I'm trying to say? So that's it. You need to be able to study your Bible. See, the Bible is, the, a lot of lessons there. It's the truth. You get what I'm trying to say. You need to be able to study your Bible. That is it. You understand? And so this brings me to the last one. Seek out your spiritual gift. The Bible says it in Romans 1.11 that for I long to see you, that I may impact unto you some spiritual gifts. See, there are a lot of gifts. It's not about you just saying, oh, you're a pastor. Don't think that pastor pastoring is the only spiritual gift. You understand what I'm trying to say? There are a lot of spiritual gifts. There are a lot of ways we can be able to work for him. There are a lot of things through leadership, through administration, through prophecy, through exhortation, through serving, through mercy, through teaching, through giving. As a theory, if you see yourself doing all those kind of things, you have that spiritual gift. Don't just think, oh, if you are a choir, that's the only spiritual gift. If you are, if you are a minister, that's the spiritual gift. If you see yourself be, being the leadership, that's a spiritual gift. If you see yourself giving, okay, you are going beyond pain only of only tight. You just see yourself, you just say, oh, you just want to help the church. You want to be able to give them money to get instruments for them to be able to get things in the church. That's one of your spiritual gifts. You need to be able to use it wisely. You need to be able to use it wisely. Other things that I listed, teaching, if you see yourself, oh, you just want to teach. You understand what I'm trying to say? That is one of your spiritual gifts. You get. That's one of your spiritual gifts that, oh, you know, you need, you, that this is it. That that's one of the things that, oh, you have it. So you need to use all these things wisely. You understand what I'm trying to say? So that brings you to the end of today's video. So guys, thanks for watching. Yeah, and please, I want you to be able to seek your spiritual gift. You need to look at that thing that, oh, you just find yourself doing this thing in church. 
You understand? I'm trying to say. So let me tell you something. God gives each and every one of us a spiritual gift. As you are watching me like this, you have that spiritual gift. I want you to be able to figure it out. I want you to be able to figure it out. I want you to be able to figure it out. Yeah, God gives everyone, each and every one of us a spiritual gift. Don't just sit down there and say you don't have a spiritual gift. You can see yourself in administration. If if people, someone, someone is not doing something well, you 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 just be like oh no please let me tell you this is how to do it you have a spiritual gift teaching a lot of things giving you get I've listed these things out so I want you to be able to figure out your spiritual gift so please don't forget to put it down in the comment section below some things that I did not list out there are a lot of things but these three is the major thing you understand so this too is the major thing so guys thanks for watching i hope to see you in the next video bye